Hey guys, good morning. How are you today? I hope everybody's having a great day today. And thank you for coming into the kitchen and talking to Greta for a little bit. Uh, before we get started with our conversation for today, I need you guys to go ahead down there, right on down there at the bottom of your screen. Go ahead and take care of your thumbs up. Go ahead and take care of your share button. Uh, if you're watching my video, make sure you're sharing it with your friends. And if you're just checking out my video for the first time, just make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, okay? Uh, I appreciate you guys. I pre appreciate all the support I've gotten. I'm, I'm you know, closing in. This is um, like month 10. I've been doing this for 10 months now. So I appreciate all the support that you guys have shown me so far, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and jump off into this conversation for today. I told you guys that I wasn't gonna watch the debate and you know, I just wanted to just, just step back for a minute from that, but my curiosity got the best of me. And of course I jumped off into that debate. I, I, I was going back and forward. I watched a little bit that I just go to another channel that I just come back and watch a little bit more. But that was just a hot mess of a debate. On last Tuesday, they had the first debate between uh, our President Trump and Joe Biden. It was just a hot mess, a hot mess. I mean, neither parties really got their message across, nor Trump or Biden. But I'm just gonna tell you what I think about that debate, okay? This is just Grandma's opinion, you guys, you know, just, this my opinion. <laughs> Okay, but first of all, they need to, when they do the next debate, they either need to change up on the moderator or they need to come up with some kind of way that the moderator can control, um, you know, each, each candidate and stuff, you know, you control that part of it, <coughs> you know, because it was so much, it was, Donald Trump tried to just just control that whole debate. I mean, this man was so disrespectful. He constantly, I think they was talking, said about 40 some times, he interrupted uh, Joe Biden. He was just trying to take over the whole debate. And what he was saying wasn't about crap. It wasn't about what he was gonna do to make this world better. You know, basically he was still throwing blame on Obama. He was still throwing blames on China and all this stuff, just throwing blames on the national forest uh, out in uh, in California where the wildfires is going on. He wanna blame, blame uh, that uh, part of the um, fires on, on not having the right people in control and they not controlling it. And it was just crazy. It was just a mess. I mean, I think that Joe tried to hold his composure and he tried to, you know, do by the, play by the, the rules and the policies that they had told them to their two minutes and all that. But of course, like I said, Donald Trump being the bully that he is, he wasn't he wasn't having that. You know, he he wouldn't let Joe uh, have his his time when it was time for him to answer a question. He constantly interrupted, and you know when some when there was a question directed to him, he would he went around it. He tap toed around the question. The moderator asked him because a day or two before the uh, convention. Uh, supposedly his taxes for 2016 and 2017 came out and it was saying that he had only paid like $750 per year for 16 and 17. That's all he had paid was $750 in taxes. I mean, and that in itself just didn't make no freaking sense because you got people out here, you got people out here, young kids and adults and, and college kids that's working like at a fast food or McDonald's or Burger King or somewhere like that. And they pay more taxes than that in a year's time. And they out here struggling, trying to go to school and trying to work at these little minimum wages jobs. And they're taking out more taxes on them. Come on, $750. But of course, Trump tiptoed around. Oh, I paid millions of dollars. I paid millions of dollars. And then he want to, you know, when, when, when they was questioning him about that, he want to, well, Obama's the reason why I get around the taxes because of that tax bill that he paid, that him and Joe 
uh, did when they was in office. So yeah, I, basically he said he's just a crook and he corrupted. He used these tax bills and different things to tiptoe from around paying his taxes. I mean, we've been waiting on his tax statements for four years now. He has never put them out there from when he got up, went, you know, when he ran for president the first time around, you're supposed to put your taxes out there doing when you get ready to run out for president. He never did even do those. And when they asked him about it, well, it takes time because it's a it's a big uh, a, a stack of papers and all this kind of crap, 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 crap. It's just crazy. And, you know, and then when they asked him to, would he de-announce the white supremacists, he going to say, you know, he goes all around it at first to acting like, I don't know what you're talking about, who you talk about, who, what white supremacist, I, I don't know no white supremacist group. And then once trying to tiptoe around that, you're going to say, oh, of course I would tell them to stand down and stand by. Come on, you know, that is crazy. That's just like you are a general or something out on the battlefield and you're getting your people together to make an attack and you're telling your people, okay, y'all go ahead and take cover, you know, stand down, but stand by. I'm gonna give you the I'm gonna give you the, the order to, to start firing, you know, when I think it's ready. That's basically what he's saying. He he's saying that he got these people on standby or standing down, but when he get ready and he need their help, he'll 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 bring them on in. That is the craziest crap. That is just so crazy. And then, like I say, he's talking about Joe Biden's son. And then you try to re convert that. To, oh, I wasn't talking about Bo. I was talking about Hunter. Hunter uh, Biden has never been in the military. It was Bo that was in the military while you was talking about the military. And you want to talk about Bo. And this man done lost his son to, to a brain cancer and all this. It was just so much stuff going on and so much unnecessary information that he was putting out there. And there was some, you know, there was some times I think Joe Biden lost his opportunity to put his plan out there the way he should have because he was trying to counterattack some of the things that, that President Trump was saying. I don't think neither one of them got a clear plan out to the world on what they're going to do to turn this world around, you know. You know, when they was talking about the coronavirus, you know, he did like he always do, tip tap, oh, you know, it, it, it does not affect kids, it does not do this, it does not do that. When your own people on your team are telling you that you're lying, this is not the truth, this is not, these are not the facts, you know. So it was just so much going on with this debate and nothing but a bunch of lies like, like it has always been. And it's crazy because the following day I was on social media and I was watching the news and it was just saying um, they had a um, uh, talk uh, reporter, or they was reporter was talking to people over in Australia and, and China, and and these folks was laughing at this debate. They said that was just the worst debate they've ever seen. They was laughing at both of them, Joe Biden and you know President Trump. These countries are talking about us so bad. They saying for this to be one of the most a free country there is in the world, and the way that these, the way that the gov, the uh, presidential candidates are going at it like children, it doesn't make any sense. They was just caught. They was just basically laughing at Trump and uh, and Biden. It was crazy. It was just crazy. It did. I, I, oh my lord. I don't even know. I mean, I think they're gonna have to. Um, they're gonna have to, especially Joe. Joe know that Donald Trump is a bully. Everybody knows that President Trump is a liar. He's a bully, he's a racer. He is not for women. He, he does not like women. He does not like anyone that's gonna go against him or question him on anything, whether it's um, uh, policies, whether it's the coronavirus, whether it's uh, Black Life Matters, whether it's the riots that's going on, you know, everything, anything you question this man, this president on, if you do not agree with him, then that's it. You're fired. You're fired. He don't want to have anything to do with you. You know, when they talked about Black Lives Matter, when they talked about the riots, oh, it's only happening in the states where there's Democratic uh, people that's running it, Democratic governors and Democratic... <sighs> It's just crazy. There's been riots in just about every freaking state in the United States. And all these states are not ran by Democrats. You know, 
I mean, there has right here in, in, in you know in the state of Alabama, there's been different riots going on, and our governor is not a Democrat. There, she's not a Democrat. So there's been riots going on throughout the whole United States. So he can't just say that they're only rioting or they're only uh, people uh, responding to Black Lives Matters in states where there is a uh, Democratic par parties running the state. What they need to do is put these policies, these parties out of the way and look at what's going on in this world today because I mean, the stuff that's going on in this world today, it, it ain't nothing that, that anyone is, tr is is making up. It's as plain as, as, as the sky is, you know, as plain as the sky above. You know, it's, 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 it's just so much going on and th they just need to get it together. And Joe Biden is gonna have to, he gonna have to kind of come out slinging. He gonna have to come out a little strong against uh, Trump because Trump is a bully. He's going to bully him. He's never going to give him the time that he's supposed to have to lay his policy out there or talk to the people. I don't care if it's two minutes, one minute, 30 minutes, 30 seconds. I don't care what it is. He's going to interrupt him. He's not going to give him that time to talk. And Joe is trying to step back and be conservative and let, you know, he keep, uh, by, uh, Trump keep interrupting and he's just trying to, you know, but he's allowing him, he's giving him his time. So, you know, I don't know. They need to look at another moderator. They need to get somebody that's stronger than the one that they had uh, last week because that man clearly could not control that uh, debate and especially Donald Trump. You got to have somebody that Donald Trump cannot bully and cannot uh, intimidate. You know, you got to have somebody that can stand up to him toe to toe. You know, I was on social media. It's so crazy. People put the crazy stuff on, on, on social media. But I was on social media after the debate, and a lot of people were saying what they need to do is get Samuel Jackson up in there. I bet you he'll shut Donald Trump down. He'll control that um, that debate, you know, and it was just in a jokey way because they would be like, didn't I tell you you had two minutes? You need to shut the bleep, 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 bleep up, you know? <laughs> Sit yourself down somewhere because that's just, you know, the character that Samuel Jackson plays, you know, with most of his characters and stuff. But, uh, you know, on a serious note, um, that's why we got to get out here and vote. You got to get out here and vote. And, and even if you don't get anything out of this debate that they're having, because I think they have another one coming up in a week or two, a couple of weeks. If you don't get anything out of that. Just look at what's going on in this world today. That alone should make you want to get up and get out and vote and, and make a change. You don't need, you know, if you don't want to, because like I said, sitting down and watching these debates, it's just, a, it's entertainment. It's, it's, it's just circle. It's like a circus. You had a circus. It's just entertainment. So if you don't want to waste your time doing that, just look at what's going on in this world. Look at what has happened. And yes, okay, you know, uh, President Trump had to uh, deal with this coronavirus and he's trying to make it, well, he's saying that until the coronavirus kicked in, the, the United States was, was the best it's ever been. And that's not true. That's not true. Even before the coronavirus kicked in, you had all kinds of stuff going on. You had uh, police br brutality. You had, it was a mess. It was already a mess and stuff, okay? But guys, just make your own opinion. You know, get out there, vote, you know, listen to the listen to what they got going on if you want to. But just the main thing when it come down to it is just putting your vote in and getting out there and vote. But overall, my opinion on the debate between our president and our, 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 our candidate president was a hot mess. That's what I think about it, a hot mess. Okay. All right. That's Greta's opinion. All right. I'm about to get up out of here, you guys. Make sure you're wearing your mask. Make sure you're being safe. And just being kind to everybody you're coming into. We are, are, are really right there, right there. We're right there for election, everybody. November the 3rd. We are less than a month away. We are right there. But guys, you guys have a great day. I'm going to catch you next time around.